<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Blurred Up Reacts, where we watch and react to the latest and greatest in movie, TV, and gaming. Of course, we are your hosts. I'm Killer Cam. And I'm Monique. And today we are reacting to episode three of Loki. Yay! Okay, okay. I'm so excited to jump into this episode <laughs> <laughs> because there was something in the credits that a lot of people have pointed out that um, we kind of missed last episode. And that's mm -hmm. because we didn't watch the credits because there was no in credits. But um, apparently, um, it, when the credits come up there, it's like a different language. They actually show the variant, the name of the variant, like in every other credits, um, the Lady Loki, you know, person who showed up in episode two mm -hmm. was called the variant. But and there was one particular language in the credits where her name was actually Sylvie. Okay. So Sylvie, we when everybody Sylvie saw is. that, <laughs> yeah, kind of linked back to Enchantress, which, hold on, y'all, let me get my marble encyclopedia out. <laughs> the Enchantress often teamed up with Scourge, the executioner, ooh, who was from Ragnarok. Um, sorry, hold on, let me skip some of this because y'all don't need to know all this. Uh, a younger enchantress later joined the young masters, hoping to become a young Avenger. She believed she was from Asgard, but she soon learned her real name was Sylvie mm -hmm. Lushton of Bronxton, Oklahoma, and that Loki had granted her power had granted powers to her she eventually left both groups to work on her own but yeah so basically i'm sorry this book is heavy jesus uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically this actually could not be lady loki but this could actually be um sylvie or enchantress mm -hmm. um who loki has granted powers to her and she just doesn't know it yet from another timeline also because yeah. remember if you remember on i think it was either our previous video or i'm pretty sure it was the previous video where i said when they showed her and she was possessing b15 and mm -hmm. everyone else i was like oh i don't know if that's lady loki i feel like she's more akin to scarlet witch because we know from WandaVision that Scarlet mm -hmm. Witch's magic was red, Agatha's was purple, and now we see this green. So mm -hmm. I was kind of like, mm, could it be, <laughs> could it be, could it be? And I know that there was two enchantresses, one that was as guardian, yeah. as guardian sorceress, and then another, which is Sylvie. So when you brought that up, I was like, yeah, it's Sylvie. So okay. hoping they confirm that in this episode, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah whatever they give us in the next episode, I I'm hoping that we get some more details about the the variant that showed up. I don't even want to call her Lady Loki anymore because it's, it may not be Lady Loki. So yeah. I'm hoping that they provide more details about the variant in this next episode and we figure out who she actually is. Um, again, that might be something that they may, may wait for the last episode for. We never know, but I still want to know now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to wait like weeks and weeks to find <laughs> out. So, I mean, without further ado, I'm ready to jump into it. But before we do, thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes to our channel because those likes, those views, they help us grow. It's seriously the best way to support our channel. It helps us get our content out to a larger audience. So thank you to all who are supporting us. And if you are new to our channel, welcome. If you are digging the reactions and reviews, please make sure you hit that like button. <laughs> and if you'd like to stay up to date with all of our content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Therefore, you too can get in on the fun. Yep, yep. All right. Are we ready, Loki, episode three? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, that's a uh, oh girl. Yeah, the C20, right? Yeah. B20. Oh, we could eat somewhere else. Do you know how many times the health department has closed uh. this place down? <laughs> The drinks seem fine. So you had to sit on a toilet all night. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. You know what brain freeze is, don't you? So it permeates the roof of your mouth, so your memories are literally frozen. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. I'm going to ask you a question, and you won't be able to tell me the answer until your synapses has melted. Challenge accepted. Okay, ask how many people oh. are guarding that Bitch, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh, it just changed from day to night. Hey, how long have we been best friends? 
To what? So why won't you tell me how many people are guarding the timekeepers? <laughs> I remember, I know this place, but I don't know you. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is what she In meant by brain. it wasn't real. You probably yeah. were just tired. How do I find the elevators? They're gold. <laughs> she <Yeah>. likes shit. <laughs> so, what she was doing, there's this thing called neurolinguistic programming. Uh -huh. And that's exactly what she was doing. It's almost like a form of like hypnotism, like suggestion, mm -hmm. power of suggestion. And that's what she was doing. Mm -hmm. Except, of course, she got magic to do it. So everybody rushing out. Oh, so now everybody is rushing out to, yeah. Yeah. To fix the timeline. So there's nobody at the TVA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, her magic don't work there. Yeah. She's like, oh, she did. Ooh. She's like, ooh. That was ooh. smooth. Did you see that? Yeah. She was like, I don't need gravity. <laughs> What you gonna do, Loki? A few questions. Have you really got nothing else better to do? Are you sure you're a Loki? You're in my way. You are my way. I thought perhaps we could work together. She gonna kick your tail, boy. She really is. Now I see you lack vision, so either you'll come willingly, or you won't. That's how I get to be the timekeepers. Oh, shut up! Hey! Oh, Ravana. <laughs> Ravana, like, I'm gonna kill both y'all. Come any closer and I'll kill it. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Loki's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Ravana huh? was like, not in my house. <laughs> oh, Goodbye, variant. Low battery. <laughs> Did that. Right. Not the only tech savvy hmm. Loki. Don't ever call me hmm. tech savvy. No, She's a Loki. Loki. Uh oh. What was that? How did you send us? Lamentus. One. One. What's happening on Lamentus? Yes, some future shit. And maybe another planet. Seventy seven. You idiot! This is Lamentus. Why the moon that planet is about to crash into Oh, the an apocalypse. You're trying to enchant me. It won't work. Because you're a magician. Because my mind is too strong. Uh, Listen, neither of us is getting off this rock if we can't get that temp pad turned back Where on. do you have it hidden? I'm not going to get very far. If you keep trying to kill me every 30 well, seconds. Well, you're full of it because you need me to get that thing recharged. We could just slaughter each other here in this abandoned mining shack. What do you say? Good for me. Yeah, I got to work together. Right, that's so good. We know what's about to happen. The plan you interrupted was years in the making. There's power somewhere on this moon. We just need enough of it to travel through interdimensional time and space. I better hurry up. Mm-hmm. Jeez. So what's the plan? Just because I have to work with you doesn't mean <laughs> I want to hear your voice. Variant. <clears throat> Don't call me Variant. I'm sorry about not calling some faded photocopy of me Loki. Good, because that's not who I am anymore. Yeah. I'm Sylvie now. Sylvie. Sylvie. It's not very Loki-like. Well, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not you. Can we get on with this now? So That's she Loki. is a Loki, but instead of going by Loki, she's, she's going, going by, by Sylvie. Sylvie. I feel we're going to learn more about this. I'm just checking the coupling, making sure it can connect. Right. Okay. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving it to you. You're going to have to try harder than that. The Tempad requires a massive power source, not a nightlight. <laughs> she tried it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, okay, give it to me. All right. <laughs> He was like, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who's watching? The Watcher. No, <laughs> I don't know. Mephisto. <laughs> <laughs> Brute force is no substitute for diplomacy. No, oh. <laughs> that was that Beatrix kiddo. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry about that. Nothing. I'm <laughs> going it. Hello, dear. Patrice? She gonna shoot him, too. <laughs> Tell <Told> you. <laughs> he don't even sound like that. Oh, Look. What are you devils mm -hmm. me? Where is everyone? The evacuation vessel. Hmm. I love the colors and I this know. planet. 
It's like using a soft purplish filter. It's called plum. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> How do we look? Like someone. It's <laughs> a great plan. Hmm. He should have did help. He should have did a, the help. My brother needs help. Or <laughs> sorry, my sister needs help. Taking this one to Sharu. And the tickets? Orders come from the top to get her on this train. Sir, this. Yeah. Everything okay? Headquarters radioed in their request for them this morning. Okay. Okay. So she had the better plan. Yeah. I'm telling you. They should have <laughs> went with my brother needs help. My sister needs help. <laughs> Someone taught you bad, hmm. decent magic. My mother. What was she like? A queen of Asgard. Are you sure she was your mother? Uh, no, she's not actually. I was adopted. Is that a bit of a spoiler for you? No, no oh. I was adopted. <laughs> Did they not tell uh. you? No. Hmm? Tell me about your mother. I barely remember her. Where do you learn to do that? I taught Whatever myself. You just go into their minds and... Really, it'd be easier if yeah. you enchanted me and make you give me the ten pack so you can leap out of the moving train. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, then don't ask. Okay. Is there a lucky bow waiting for you at the end of this crusade? Yeah, there is actually. Oh. How about you? Must have been would-be princesses, or perhaps another prince. A bit of both. Oh. I suspect the same as you. Luke Simicare. <laughs> Gender fluid Loki. Can I see your tickets? You again. Can you not just magic up a ticket? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ooh. they love to fight. They do. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> they just threw this man out of a moving train car window. And with no hesitation. Uh uh, and he went so easily too. Huh? <laughs> How y'all gonna charge the thing now? Like uh, oh give me the ten pack. Right, right. Oh, oh come on, bruh. What now? I don't know. You broke the tempad. Well. And that I mean, planet is about to crash into us. What about the Ark? The Ark never leaves because it's destroyed. They never had us on it. What, we hijack the Ark and make sure it gets off this moon? Oh. I mean. It's not a bad idea. Like They've already, <laughs> yeah, she's already made several <laughs> <laughs> timelines, so might as well just do another one. I don't think I've ever walked this much in my life. Here's an idea. What if you enchanted me and you could walk for both of us? <laughs> That's not how enchantment works. I have to make physical contact and then grab hold of their mind. Oh. I have to create a fantasy from their memories. That young soldier from the TVA I had to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior before she even fought for them. What did you say? Before she joined the TVA? Yeah, she was just a regular person. What? A regular person. They're all variants, just like us. Mm-hmm. They sure don't, because Morbius... Oh. That's why he was so obsessed with the damn jet skis. <laughs> Probably. Well, we gonna talk about this. Yeah, we are. I smell a rebellion. <laughs> we have to get on that arc and make sure it takes off. How? We go round. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all better hurry better up. Why does it look up. like the Death Star? <laughs> it does, actually. <laughs> it looked like the Death Star. I feel like this. It reminds me of Infinity War. <laughs> was that? Who was that? He stole the time stone, didn't he? From the TVA. Oh. Uh, I think he did. You saw how that building reversed? Yeah. Good catch. Oh, well, that's the end of that. Ah, <laughs> that ending part um, actually reminded me of um, Infinity War a little bit, where <laughs> Thanos uh, and Tony Stark were fighting. He was like, "You did not throw a planet at me," <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, at the very end there, um, that building that was about to fall on top of them, mm -hmm. like, kind of stopped and then reversed back reversed up. Back up. I really think he told it. He's um, Loki stole the time stone because I don't. They don't have those powers, do they? I don't think so. No, 
Loki's just magic and illusion. Mm -hmm. So if it was gonna, he can't illusion it away. It was still gonna fall. Sylvie enchant is in more of enchanted. Yeah. And it makes sense that he would steal one because they made it a point to call out that they (laughs) were paperwork uh, paperweights in the TVA. So now that he's not at the TVA, I mean, that might have been his ace up his sleeve when they went to Rockstar. Mm -hmm. He knew he was going out in the field, so Mm -hmm. he was like, "Well, they don't work here, but they work out there." Right. I mean, Mm -hmm. I would do it. (laughs) Me too. Me too. (laughs) Um. So what do you think about this episode? I actually really liked it. I liked the dynamic between uh, Sylvie and Loki. I, mm-hmm. I, but And I'm curious, though. Now I'm just way more curious. Like, what happened to you, Sylvie? What's the motivation here? Is it just the fact that you are a variant and they were about to get rid of you? Mm-hmm. And that was going to be in the end of it? Or, like, does something more severe or drastic happen? Like, because this was years in the making and she said basically all her life so Mm -hmm. like what what's motive what's the motivation here yeah i I also want to know the rest of her backstory because they you know they were sitting there on the train having a conversation and you know loki's telling her about his mom and things like that and she's like i barely knew my mom Mm -hmm. and oh surprise you're adopted and she's like oh yeah i know yeah. So I want to know, like, her whole backstory. Is it is she really from Asgard? Um, or is is it what, you know, I, I read out in the Marvel Encyclopedia where she thinks that she's from Asgard, but she's mm-hmm. really not. She's from Oklahoma. Like, what is it? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm curious about, because it could go a few ways. It could be just mm-hmm. that, or she could actually be a Loki variant who's calling herself Sylvie. Or they could have very well, it's Marvel, MCU, meshed the backstory here. Because let's not pretend mm-hmm. there aren't, there isn't enough material to do that. So mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. curious to see what it's finally going to play out to be. Mm-hmm. Um, she's interesting. I want more. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I me want too. more. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get more. Um, so I feel like loki's still playing the long game here Mm -hmm. uh first two episodes we were like oh he gonna do what he gotta do to get what he wants i still think he's doing that when he's having these emotional type conversations with um sylvie i still feel like there could be a hint of you know he really cares but mostly i feel like he's still trying to get to his end game with the timekeepers he wants to know how to enchant people and that's i was like why do i feel like at the end of the season he's gonna have that He's going to know how to enchant people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he'd be an idiot not to. But I also feel like it. it this is going to turn into a mutual thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like, yes, he's got the long game, but he's going to help her. Mm-hmm. Or they're just going to find a way to do whatever's about to happen together. I don't feel mm-hmm. like he's going to let her, like, disappear. I guess because yeah. at the end of the day, I do feel like, in some way, whether she's a Loki variant or if she's just Sylvie, I know in the comic books he he pretty much created Sylvie as a tool of of ma- not madness, chaos or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I don't think he's just gonna dump her. I'm just curious. Like I'm just curious. I want to know more now. This is episode three, and they've got us on our toes (laughs) Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, (laughs) they've mm -hmm. got us on our toes i'm not gonna lie though when miss ravana came out i was like bitch i'm ready to see her work (laughs) (laughs) i do want to see yeah i do want (laughs) to see a lot more of her um in this season i i love her i love uh b15 is it which Mm -hmm. is manumi manumi's character but i do want to see a lot of both of them yeah. uh in this season so what do you think about the reveal of uh loki being uh gender fluid bisexual however you want to say i it? already said it <laughs> like and people was in the <laughs> comments like you always trying to make people gay and i was like because i know one when i see one it takes one to know one (laughs) yeah yeah like i see it when i see it and i'm like ooh, bitch (laughs) (laughs) yeah because i know there's been this big conversation 
uh, with some of the things that Anthony Mackey has recently said about, you know, because there were situations coming out where a lot of people were wishing that um, uh, Bucky and Sam would, mm -hmm. you know, get into relationship. And I think Anthony Mackey was like, you know, why can't people just be friends? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so um, I know there's that's been a big conversation here lately. So to actually hear actually it confirmed for this character. I thought that was absolutely awesome. Yeah. And like, I, get yeah. On, I understood what Anthony Mackie was saying, but I feel like that situation and this situation is different. They are different. clear. There are clear moments where I'm looking, I'm like, they're flirting with each other. Like there's literally a point in, I believe it was, was it the last episode where Loki fixes Mobius's tie? Like, here you go, baby. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? So I'm like, yeah. I'm not imagining this. I know, <laughs> I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I guess we'll see. We'll so, definitely see. But yeah. I appreciate um, it. It's Pride Month too. So I appreciate, you true. know, them yeah. acknowledging that and throwing that out there. So yeah. And I think that's a, a big step for Disney at least. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're they're becoming more and more um aware and presenting those type oh i wish you scratch sorry i'm presenting those type of situations uh, like it's it's no longer this subject where people are like oh no we can't do that um mm -hmm. so i applaud disney for just putting it out there and marvel put just putting it out there yeah yeah um let me ask you this though because now it's becoming clear that this is going to be a big part of dr strange like the mm -hmm. events that are happening now and then, of course, what happened with WandaVision. Like, this this is about to blow up in Doctor Strange. Yeah, most definitely. This is about As, to blow Especially up. if the TVA does not get those um, timelines that were created by Sylvie under control. Mm -hmm. I bet you they're not. I bet you there's going to still going to be, oh. like, more than a few timelines out there that they don't get to resolve by the end of this. And I, I feel mm -hmm. like... And correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like in the first episode, I said that I want the TVA to kind of crumble sooner rather than later. I feel like it creates more conflict. Mm -hmm. So now seeing that potentially that's what's happening, I'm okay. Like, <laughs> Yeah. You know. It's fine. We're with it. <laughs> We're here till the end of the line. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey. Um, so what did, what did you feel about or how do you feel about the reveal that everybody at the TVA is actually not, you know, created to work at the TVA. They're actually variants. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they had lives before they were at the TVA and they don't remember those. I mean, it made sense to me. Yeah. It just makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Because how has this TVA been around and nobody has heard about it? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm hmm. Um, I feel like I said that either on the, I had that suspicion in the last episode, or it might have been the live that we did with Silversight. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like I, I, I knew like that could potentially be the case with everybody who worked at the TVA, that they were variants. But um, it could also be the reason why Morbius's character is so obsessed with the jet skis. Yeah. Maybe he comes from a time where the whole jet skiing, like, um, the craze. Doing flips. Yeah. The like, craze in the I, 90s. I he, he pointed out the 90s specifically, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. I remember um, I was playing a, on Nintendo 64. I forgot <laughs> what the, is it like Wave Runner or something like that? But there's a game for Nintendo 64 that I absolutely loved. And it had to do with jet skis and racing. So mm -hmm. um, maybe he comes from a time period where he's one of those jet ski racers or something like that. Or maybe he just loves jet skis. I don't know. But um, that might be the reason why he's so obsessed with with jet skis because he comes from that time period where they they were the most popular. Yeah. yeah, I I think that is probably the case. But yeah, I mean, it would just like when you think about it in your head, it would it would make sense. How do you get this organization fully staffed without raising any type of su suspicion? Mm -hmm. The timelines that you nip, the branches that you nip, you pull people from them. You know, yeah, yeah, or just like they did with uh Loki, like they find him valuable in some way. What happens? Let's say Loki was a good boy and complied and did everything he was supposed to do. What happens when he's done? Do, do they just eliminate him? No, mm -hmm. they're they're gonna keep him around for future stuff. So yeah, yeah. Um, another thing that I just thought of: if all these people are variants, 
do you think that there's multiple of these variants walking around the TVA and they just don't know? Like, for instance, I think if I'm remembering right, uh, in the comics, Morbius's character, there were more, multiple Morbiuses at one point. I don't know. I feel like there were. I'll have to look that up. But with them being big, because, you know, you have multiple Loki variants. Could there be multiple TVA variants of these people that are working at the TVA just walking around, you know? I'm pretty sure there would be. Maybe not in the TVA, definitely walking other timelines. I, mm -hmm. would figure. I don't know if they would be at a, in the TVA. Maybe a few of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Who knows? Well, it was proven that, oh... Oh, I just had an idea because in the, I'm sorry, in the last episode when Mobius was in uh, Ravana Renslayer's office, mm -hmm. it was proven that he doesn't know uh, everybody that works for her. Mm -hmm. So there could be multiple Morbiuses. Uh, am I saying his name right? I Mobius. Feel like it's Mobius. Mobius. Yeah, I keep <laughs> saying keep, Morbius. You keep going yeah. back and forth between the two. Mobius. I'm so sorry. I keep, I keep saying like more, you know, uh, like the vampire. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but there could be multiple Mobiuses working mm -hmm. uh, for Ravana in the same position that Mobius is working for her, and he just doesn't know. I mean, her office was decorated with souvenirs, and he made the comment, how come all my souvenirs are in here? Mm -hmm. They didn't necessarily confirm that all of them actually came from him, but they could have if there's multiple. Yeah. There's something with them too. They do have like a different relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, I just thought of that. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, but all in all, I think this was a good episode. Um, it wasn't it as exciting as episode two, uh, but it was still a good episode. It was informative. Mm -hmm. It was informative. I think it fills in stuff that we need to know moving forward. But yeah, I'm 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 here for it. Yeah. I am here for it. And Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, dude. There's only one yeah. movie that I really hated you in and I just oh, didn't like it? it. It's the one we went to the movies and saw the Crimson, what is it? Crimson the Red Hill Crimson or Crimson Peak? Crimson Peak. That was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I actually am not mad at that movie because it's Guillermo del Toro. So I didn't like it. I was like, yeah, brother and sister. Uh, spoiler, sorry. Uh, that's nasty. <laughs> Why you gotta bring that up? Because that's the part that made me check out of the movie. I was like, I'm <laughs> watching this. Look, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Scott. All <I'll>, anyway. <laughs> but I'll say this, Tom Hiddleston. You have a voice like an angel. Oh, he looks like a, <laughs> like someone I would go drinking with in a moment like, <laughs> like tom's going oh i'm coming look <laughs> i'm sorry my person is anthony mackie that's a guaranteed oh, I, I go guaranteed with good time out, out on the town just bring them all look <laughs> <laughs> just bring them all look i want to have your am jason Momoa. let's bring him from dc he can come <laughs> too, so anyway <laughs> Um, any parting shots here? I think we cover a lot, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for the next three episodes. Um, three episodes. Man, it seems. Yeah, I mean, like, this has gone by pretty quick for me for some reason. I'm not I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, three episodes left. Definitely. Well, I'm here for it. So we'll be back next week. But drop down in the comments. Let us know what you think about this episode. And what do you think? What are your thoughts on Miss Sylvie? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious to hear what everybody else thought of their interaction. But until the next episode, we are your hosts. I'm Killer Cal. And I'm Monique. We'll see you on the next episode of Blurred Up Reacts. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>